successes in climate change management decisions well first of all let, let me say that i think there is no big one silver bullet success um, we've tried a lot of things some have worked a lot of things have failed um, nothing has failed catastrophically yet so we're still here but in my view on the matter is we're going to move forward in tiny little incremental steps um, probably the biggest change that we've had is uh, direct drilling with long points press wheels and stubble retention uh, I think uh, time control grazing of sheep or cell, cell control cell grazing whatever you care to describe it as but um, you know short grazing periods with big mobs on long rest periods has been a benefit we've got soil moisture meters in the ground to assist us with knowing exactly what's going on in the ground I find the spear method of testing it tells you how far down the moisture is but it doesn't actually tell you at what state the, the moisture is in the, whether it's at field capacity or almost dry so with the meters we can get a better handle on that they tell us how much moisture is being used per day that allows us to decide later in the season whether it's worthwhile putting nitrogen on whether where there's enough moisture there to get through um, we use a lot of weather forecasting tools which i think the bureau has got a hell of a lot better at um, they're pretty accurate now with their four day forecasts. Uh, we use radar and stuff when we're harvesting. I can tell that pretty much to the half hour when it's gonna rain here by looking at the radar so we can cover the dumps and all this, you know. There's a lot of techniques that are available now that we didn't have 20 years ago, which, which were on their own you'd say that, you know, that doesn't make any difference. But it, when you add them all together, they do make a lot of difference.